From portion sizes to exclusive flavors, we wanted to find out all the differences between Prime in the US and the UK. This is Food Wars. Let's start with Prime Hydration. In the UK, it comes in a 500 milliliter bottle. You can either buy this as a single bottle or as part of a 12 pack. In the US, our hydration also comes in one size, the 16.9 fluid ounce bottle or 500 milliliters. You can get it options of one bottle, an eight pack, which you did not get, sorry, the 12 pack, and a 15 pack variety. We also have Prime Energy, which in the UK comes in a 330 milliliter can. Just like Prime Hydration, this either comes as a single can or as part of a 12 pack. In the US, Prime Energy is a 12 fluid ounce can or 355 milliliters, and it comes in a single can, the 12 pack, and a 24 pack. In the US, our biggest Prime Hydration single item by volume is this, the 15 drink variety pack. Total fluid volume, 253.6 fluid ounces or 7,500 milliliters. Our largest size is a 12 pack of bottles, which adds up to six liters of Prime, but that's still 20% less than the biggest size in America. And if we go an energy drink, uh, 24 cans of these energy drinks. This is 288 fluid ounces or 8,520 milliliters. Our biggest Prime Energy item is again the 12 pack, but remember that our cans are slightly smaller than America's. A 12 pack of Prime Energy in the UK adds up to 3,960 milliliters. That's 53.5% smaller than the biggest size in America. Here are almost all of the exclusive Prime products you can get in the US, you can't get in the UK. And here are all the Prime drinks you'll find in the UK, but not in the US. There aren't any, sorry guys. There are currently seven flavors of Prime Hydration available in the UK. However, all of them are available in the US as well. So none of them are actually exclusive. That said, there are some subtle differences in ingredients when it's compared to the US. And also I've never had Prime before. So I wanna try all of these, give you my thoughts and maybe rank them as well. Here are currently three of the four Prime Hydration drinks you can get in the US, you can't get in the UK. So we got the lemonade, we got orange, we have this LA Dodgers flavor that might be just specific to Los Angeles. And there's a grape flavor couldn't get my hands on. Yeah. And here are all the other flavors you get in the US. Let's we'll start down here, lemon lime. I mean, this is, they're just going into after Gatorade on this one. Wasn't it the first Gatorade flavor, lemon lime? Really sweet. Wow, that's really sweet. Ice pop. But also this looks like they have different names, but I grew up calling them bomb pops. I feel like I'm like tasting the cherry in this one. I think everyone who's tried these has said it. These are very sweet, but I mean, I'm kind of surprised I mean, it's marketed towards kids. Another thing I wanted to point out is that I was able to find ice pop flavors, both in the UK version and the US version. We're gonna get more into ingredients a little bit later on, but I'll do a very quick taste to see if there's any notable differences. We'll start with the UK one, and then we'll try the American version. The flavors are broadly the same, but the way that this one kind of like hits your taste buds it's very different and it's really weird. When you consume a drink, obviously you like, you wanna feel like your thirst has been quenched. You take a sip and there's something in here that's like actually kind of like drying my mouth out almost. I think if I had to pick which one to prefer, it is gonna be the UK's and I'm not just saying that from bias. Wait, tropical punch. What the f <sighs> All right, well, that's pretty embarrassing. Hope nobody's watching this. I do like that. I, no, no kidding, if they're getting progressively better as we go through. Can't screw up orange. Mmm. Yeah, this might be my favorite one. This is really good. And this doesn't feel as sweet as the other ones, or am I just getting used to it? Like like how your eyes adjust to the dark, I think my tongue's adjusting to the sweetness. So of the many sports teams in the world that have some sort of deal with Prime, LA Dodgers is one of them. Yeah, I'm seeing people on eBay bidding a lot for these, so. Straight up, I don't know what flavor this is, but it's good. Do you want to try it? My lips did touch it. Is it too weird? I mean, we have a professional relationship. Oh no, I've gotten used to it. This is a good lemonade. As far as lemon flavored, not carbonated beverage, pretty good. I was also able to get my hands on one of the American exclusives, the lemonade flavor. I'm interested to try this because the US and the UK do have slightly differing ideas of what lemonade is. Obviously in the UK, we consider generally lemonade to be like a carbonated clear beverage, like a Sprite. Whereas in America, it's usually just kind of like lemon juice, sugar and water combined. So it does taste a bit like you've let like a, a Sprite kind of go flat. You can probably keep this one for the time being guys. Glowberry. It is supposed to glow in the dark. The, the, the label, not the beverage. What the hell? Yeah, I think that's the worst one. 
That's really weird. Meta Moon, what is the vibe of this? What about this says like, oh, that's so refreshing. This tastes the way uh, sunblock smells. Strawberry watermelon, all right, back to things I've heard of. No, this tastes exactly like gum, bubblicious, like one of those, one of those like really fruity ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna start down this end with the glowberry flavor. Now I did have to Google this to see if glowberries were actual berry or not. As far as I can tell, they are not. I think it generally refers to a berry flavor and also the fact that the bottle is supposed to glow in the dark. I think we should put that to the test. Charlie, hit the lights. <laughs> not really glowing, is it? <laughs> My first taste of Prime, and it's not blown my socks off to say. It's just a very artificial berry flavor, but a bit of tang to it. Next up, we've got strawberry watermelon. I like that. The flavor I get from that is almost more like a kind of blue Powerade type flavor. According to the label, the ice pop flavor is supposed to taste like cherry, lime, and blue raspberry. Yeah, I mean, so far the vibe I'm getting is that they all just taste kind of artificial fruit. But I think in terms of like balancing the flavors, this one's done a pretty good job so far. Maybe the most uh, delicately balanced flavor of the lot. Next up, we've got Meta Moon. Obviously, I don't know what the moon tastes like, and I don't know what the Meta tastes like right now either. If there were a Food Wars Meta, yellow number five would be S tier right now. Label just says this is candy flavored, which doesn't fill me with confidence because like, which candy? <laughs> tastes like Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't taste like a smell. No. <laughs> like at least these ones have had like a fairly identifiable fruity flavor, whereas this one is just kind of like generic sweet thing. Then we're on to blue raspberry. And one thing that's immediately stuck out to me is the color. I think I was actually expecting this to be like a more bright blue color. <laughs> it's actually just kind of white. It's quite a gentle blue raspberry. I want a bit more acidity from that, I think, but it goes down very smoothly. I do feel like I'm giving Prime way too much credit here. I'm swilling it around in a glass like I'm a sommelier. Yeah, maybe if we had a decanter, I could pour it out, let it breathe a little bit. I'm drinking too much Prime, I'm gonna be hydrated as hell. I'm getting hopped up on Prime. I need to go do like a celebrity boxing match or something. Yeah, Joe, you down? You and me, in the ring, the full 12 rounds. I actually don't know who'd win that. I'd win the fight between me and Joe. You back me? Charlie backs me. Harry's vibe is very like, they're really like always just like calm and reserved or whatever, but that kind of like that sarcasm that they have over there to me says that they're like something's going on underneath the surface that they're suppressing. So Harry Stokes would the type of guy that if he got like into a fight fight, he would like just like black out and then come to at like in the middle of a field at midnight with a shovel covered in blood with a corpse in his trunk. I'll box him as long as it's supervised. <laughs> Moving swiftly on from me and Joe fighting. Next up, we've got Tropical Punch Prime. Woo. So while I was out in the US recently, I was able to try Hawaiian Punch, and that's basically exactly what I'm getting from this. And then finally, we've got the Lemon Lime flavor. Of all of these flavors, this is the one that tastes the most like it supposed to. If I had to rank them, I think I'd do it in the following order. I think my least favorite, probably Meta Moon right in the middle here, Meta Moon is down there. I think with Ice Pop, they've just tried to combine a bunch of flavors that don't necessarily work together very well. So I think it's actually gonna be my second to last. I think Blue Raspberry is gonna come next for me and they lose points because I didn't even try and color it. I think next is gonna be Glowberry. The bottle didn't really glow. So maybe uh, leave it in the sun for a bit longer if you're gonna try that at home. I think next up, we're gonna have Tropical Punch. My number two is Lemon Lime, which means that my number one, is Strawberry Watermelon. My favorite is the orange. In second place, I like the Dodgers flavor. Actually, I didn't think about it. I'm gonna go here, yeah. The lemon is good. And from here on, ice pop, eh. I mean, yeah, lemon lime. These, these are all like, I'd grab any one of these. These three, I say skip. A little bit of flavor tweaking or balancing might go a long way. I think with some of these, you wanted like maybe a bit more tang to them, a bit more acidity maybe dial back the sweetness on one or two as well. I don't know if I would necessarily pick a Prime over a classic energy drink like a Powerade, but I do think in general, if I wanted a sports drink and I went into a store and this was all they had, I think I'd still be happy to buy one. Like they're all fine and they kind of do that same job. Next up, let's take a look at Prime Energy. Now, while the Prime Hydration drinks are similar to maybe like a Powerade, these are much more similar to a classic energy drink like a Red Bull. There is one exclusive energy drink flavor in the US you can't get in the UK. It is the original that just was announced this week, couldn't get it. Anyway, here are the rest. Yes, the UK also has them. Most of them are similar to the hydration flavors, but there is a new one, orange mango. 
I'm a bit apprehensive about trying these because I don't drink energy drinks. I don't even drink coffee. I only drink tea. And I think one of these contains about as much caffeine as three cups of tea. So we'll start with ice pop. Chin chin. I think that does mirror the flavor of the hydration drink pretty closely. But I will say it tastes better than like a standard Red Bull flavor. Strawberry watermelon. I think there might be a theme here. They just kind of taste like fizzy versions of that. Here's the new one, orange mango. I get mostly mango. I'm not getting much orange from that. Yeah, not far off like a Rubicon. Tropical Punch is up next. Yeah, I think that one's actually improved by becoming an energy drink. Lemon Lime. You could give me a glass of that and a glass of Sprite and I'd struggle to tell the difference, I think, because it is just, again, like a carbonated lemon and lime beverage. Blue Raspberry. I actually think for a few of these, just carbonating them has actually made them better. I think notably that was the case with the Tropical Punch and also to a degree, I think, Blue Raspberry. One I could not get at the time of filming this was the Ice Pop Strawberry Watermelon. It's like sweet and tart. Orange mango. Uh, somehow worse. Uh-oh, so far not good. Tropical Punch, okay. Yeah, so it's good. Lemon lime. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good too. Kind of looks like Sprite. Blue raspberry. Ooh. Nah. Yeah, it's also like a tart flavor to it, that. Not that I do. So I think I'm gonna rank it like this. Favorite was lemon lime. Really enjoyed the fruit punch. Blue raspberry is like in the middle. And then these two I wouldn't get. I guess, wow, apparently the strawberry watermelon flavor. I'm just not digging. Now for the orange mango, which was the worst, something about it just tastes like an armpit. Ice Pop did not like that one, I'm afraid. Orange mango, fine, but a bit too artificial. And there are, I think, better like fizzy mango drinks out there in the UK. Tropical Punch and Blue Raspberry were both improved, I think, by making them fizzy. But I think just in terms of like flavor balance, strawberry watermelon, undefeated. One thing I will say about Prime Energy is that so far when I've been tasting these, I feel like on the very rare occasions when I drink like a Red Bull or a Monster, they have kind of like a very distinct flavor to them. And even if you add flavorings to that, it's hard to mask it completely. Whereas I don't really get like a kind of distinct energy drink flavor throughout all of these. Most of them actually do just kind of taste like fizzy versions of the hydration drink. I think it's actually quite impressive. I think you probably could drink them almost as a soda. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I do think there's still some room for improvement with the flavors themselves. I think particularly down this end, of course. But in general, I think they've done a pretty good job with the flavors. One product that we have exclusively here in the US are these Prime Hydration Plus sticks. These are like the hydration flavors we have, but in powder form. I think you can get it in almost every single flavor. I got two for six of the crowd. Got six sticks. Okay. I mean, it looks lemon limey too. I guess probably you're supposed to shake it up and that's why I do a water bottle and then a cup. Cause like, look, it's all like globulating at the top here. Oh, very strong. I think I could have cut it with more water, but. Oh God. Yeah, it's pretty close. I mean, this is obviously stronger cause there's not as much water. Sadly, the Prime Hydration Plus sachets have not hit UK shelves just yet. Although I can't say I'm too mad about that. I feel like just buy the drink, it's fine. The price of Prime can vary wildly depending on where or when you are looking. On the official UK website, a 12 pack of Prime Hydration sells for £24.99. That's around $31.82. The per bottle cost on the website, therefore, is just over £2. In the US, that same pack is $29.99 or £23.56. So not much of a price difference. If you're not aware, Prime is a brand of hydration and energy drinks promoted by the influencers Logan Paul and KSI. The two have amassed a huge fan base online through various ventures on YouTube, in podcasting, music, and even wrestling. Now, Prime is manufactured by Congo Brands, a company based out of Louisville, Kentucky. Paul and KSI are the primary spokespeople for the brand. When Prime launched over a year ago, with KSI and Logan Paul putting their celebrity weight behind the promotion of the brand, it was a huge success. However, due to the popularity of the drink, a huge reselling market has emerged. Prime came to the UK in June 2022 and was an immediate smash hit. On release, Brits saw teenagers queuing up outside supermarkets all morning to try and get their hands on some. Places like Asda sold out so quickly that they had to implement a three bottle per customer limit. Convenience stores realized they could buy Prime in bulk and flip individual bottles for a huge markup. 
Some, such as the TikTok famous Wakey Wines, achieved infamy when they were caught selling bottles or cans for as much as £100 each. KSI even had to step in at one point and scold resellers, saying that it was not ethical. Uh, it wasn't as bad over here. It did fly off the shelves for a little bit, but I think it might have something to do with the resale value of these online was pretty good. I've never seen anyone drinking it, and to be honest, I got everything at Target uh, and online, kind of no problem. Now, currently, the LA Dodgers limited edition bottles are pretty pricey on eBay. I'm assuming, once again, that has more to do with its scarcity than its taste. Even now, as we film this in October 2023, the prime market hasn't exactly calmed all the way down. For some of the more standard flavors, the supply has now caught up with demand, and you're able to find them in most supermarkets for the standard retail price. For example, I was able to find the bottle of strawberry watermelon in Tesco for just two pounds. However, for some of the more exotic flavors, the only places you can find them are specialist candy shops, or niche resellers. The only place I could find my bottle of Glowberry was at one of those weird American candy stores which plague central London. This one bottle cost me 18 pounds. I wouldn't have paid 18 pounds for a bottle of Prime, but you did expensive, so you didn't pay for it either. What is the most I would realistically pay for a bottle of Prime Hydration? I don't know, five bucks? You think five is high? How much would you pay? I've just been informed $5 is too high. 150, you can't get anything for 150. What are you talking about? Fine. I would pay as much as Gatorade and Powerade and all the other aids are for this. It's hard to find empirical evidence as to whether or not the craze around Prime has kind of died down, but just from anecdotal evidence, I really don't think it has. Even when I was out buying the Prime for this episode, I would see kids in the stores just taking selfies with bottles of Prime like it was a celebrity. I think due to the scarcity and the demand, it's almost become like a status symbol among certain generations of kids. It's a race to see who can get the new flavors of Prime the fastest, People will, I guess, empty them out and just use them as like water bottles when they go to school. And again, it's just kind of like a way to flex on your peers. Besides converting their massive fan bases into loyal customers, KSI and Logan Paul have also been able to translate this into commercial partnerships. Prime is now an official drink supplier of the UFC, the LA Dodgers, and Arsenal, of which I believe KSI is a fan. And they're also the official sports drink partners of FC Barcelona and FC Bayern Munich. We've seen other influencers capitalize on their success in the food and beverage space. Mr. Beast, of course, has Beast Burger and his chocolate bars Feastables. Emma Chamberlain has her coffee brand, Chamberlain Coffee. Now, according to Paul, in the first year, the brand has cleared 250 million in retail sales. Goodness. Here are all the ingredients for a prime hydration ice pop flavor in the UK. These are the US hydration ice pop ingredients. The ingredients are pretty similar overall. The UK has slightly more coconut water, 10.5% compared to America's 10%, but ours is actually reconstituted from a powder, whereas America's is from concentrate. Prime hydration in both countries boasts zero added sugar, but does contain artificial sweeteners, sucralose and acyl flame, no, that's not it, acyl flame, K or ACE-K. According to the Center for Science in the Public Interest, ACE-K raises health issues such as cancer, hormone disruption, and potential pregnancy risks. Per Healthline, there is also evidence suggesting that acetoacetamide, a compound formed in the body during the breakdown of ACE-K, may result in thyroid damage in lab animals. Now, ironically enough, the lack of sugar may be an issue for the very purpose of prime hydration. Electrolytes play a crucial role in making sure your body functions properly. When you exercise or play hard, you sweat, you lose not just water, but you also lose important electrolytes. Electrolytes are key to hydration, and Prime does contain electrolytes like magnesium and potassium. But the low amount of glucose may impair your body from properly absorbing the electrolytes, as glucose is useful in transporting them to your cells. Typically, you don't need glucose to absorb electrolytes, but it does help. Prime Energy is currently in hot water with the media as well as the US government because of its perceived excessive levels of caffeine. Here in the UK, our Prime Energy cans contain 140 milligrams of caffeine. To put that into perspective, a grande coffee from Starbucks contains around 136. Energy cans in the US, however, contain 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is a 42.9% increase from the UK can. Because of this, Prime is currently experiencing a significant amount of backlash, resulting in some shops actually pulling it from shelves in order to protect kids' health. In July of this year, Senator Chuck Schumer called for an FDA probe of Prime and said it was a cauldron of caffeine that posed serious health concerns for kids. One Prime Energy contains 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is about as much caffeine in a six pack of Coke. It says it right there on legally the smallest font you could put it in. However, looking at the caffeine amounts of some other drinks currently on the market in the US, paints a slightly different picture. Let's be clear, 200 milligrams in this can is a lot of caffeine. Pound for pound, it contains more caffeine than Monster Energy or Red Bull. 
But other American drinks such as Bang Energy or Celsius Heat contain 300 milligrams per can. That's 50% more than Prime. We don't have these in the UK. I never heard of Bang or Celsius Energy and they sound terrifying. One distinction that Senator Schumer is highlighting is that Prime is aimed at a kid's market, despite the fact that the can says not for children under the age of 18. Now, if that is the case, Prime still isn't the biggest offender. G Fuel, a brand that appears to also appeal to kids, specifically in the gaming space, has several drinks with 300 milligrams of caffeine. They have flavors like Rainbow Sherbet, Snow Cone, Hype Sauce, that contain more caffeine than a Prime as well as celebrity branded flavors from PewDiePie and someone or something called One Shot Girl, both have 300 milligrams of caffeine in the can. Where's the outrage for that? A bottle of Ice Pop Prime Hydration in the US contains all of this. In the UK, a bottle of Ice Pop Prime Hydration contains the following. So in the UK, our Prime has slightly more calories, but less sodium. If you grab yourself a Prime Energy, I have the lemon lime flavor, it contains all of this. In the UK, the same drink, albeit in a slightly smaller can, contains the following. So it's almost identical to America's, although we have a little bit more sodium. Charlie's correctly pointed out that sachets would be way better for the environment because you're not using plastic waste, so maybe I just hate the planet. I'm sorry, uh, Greta Thunberg and polar bears. It's not personal. So am I gonna make money flipping this on Facebook or what?